Thanks, Cauldron Weird, and we're back with some more K-pop. Guys, <laughs> Tiffany is back. She never left. Yes. But she's back with a new <laughs> tour. I hate that. <laughs> I don't know why I hate that phrase so much. She's back. She never <laughs> left. God damn it. <laughs> Magnetic Moon is the song. Oh, sweet name. And it's also the name of her new tour. Come it's almost to like a Shonen Jump ultimate move. Pretty much. It's pretty neat. Coming to America soon. I yeah. Have a new move, yeah. Kakarot. <laughs> Magnetic Moon. <laughs> Uh. Blows up the moon again. It's a Gaten show. <laughs> I forgot they did blow up the moon, didn't they? They did. they did. Well, how many times? They blew up the moon like a few times. Eh. Yeah, it's all good. Anyway. Anyways. You remember Star Wars, how they had two suns for tattooing? Yeah. Well, that Earth has two moons. <laughs> That's no moon. It's a space station. Yep. Anyway, God. let's get started. <laughs> oh, we're such nerds. All right, let's do it. Anna, do set go. go. That's no moon. That's my waistline. <laughs> oh god. That's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> moons. Why did it have to be moons? <laughs> oh, there's subtitles. Ooh. Well, it is summer, so you know there's a lot of heat. Don't be a jerk. Sticky. It's a pile of heat. Yeah. It's like walking through a bowl of warm ketchup. <laughs> Ooh. Like the stars, though. Midnight Blue, wasn't that Zoolander's look? Mm hmm. Right there. Oh, that's the color I'm about to dye my hair soon, though. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Dude, nice. Keep that beat, dog. Way to keep it going, doggy. It's <laughs> like when we recorded at my house the one time, and Angus just would not <laughs> stop walking in the frame of the camera. Mm -hmm. I love that we can have like a three hour record session right there, but the 30 minutes that we have a dog right there is the worst. <laughs> Cyrus right now. A little bit. Wrecking ball. But there's talent here. That's a good point. No oh boy. Excellent point. I said it. You heard me. At me on Twitter, bro. At Corey Hanna one <laughs> Excuse me. It's Corey H1. It's my Twitter tag. You sure about that? Pretty sure. It, it's Corey I'm, Hanna It's one. definitely not. Definitely. Oh, that's my Instagram tag. I knew two places to attack you. Let him. Oh, I love it that there's just like no lyrics, just all music, and they're just kind of doing a dance number. Right? It's nice. Very cool. Also, shows that have like a ridiculous amount of light, like that mm -hmm. right there, those are my favorite types of concerts. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure that's how her concert's going to go. So Iron oh, it's was. a good logo too with oh, magnetic neat. moon with like a crescent for the seat. That's yeah. neat. So cool. Tight. Anyway. Thoughts. Oh my god. Ten. It's almost got five million views. <laughs> oh my god. Tens. Tens? Tens. Yeah. No yeah. Tens. I would I would definitely give it a ten. Um this is probably my favorite song that we have covered from Tiffany and her solo stuff. I'm gonna have to agree with that. It's a lot of fun. It's got a really to to quote um 
um, American Psycho. It's got a real hip beat. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Sick, I like that. Sick American psycho reference. But nice. um, no, like I, it really does have a really fun beat and it's mm-hmm. very playful and it's very, it's, I like the flow of the song. Yeah. I like the flow of the song. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. I like listening to her voice, just the way that. The way her voice meshes with the backing of the song, because yeah. there's not really a ton to the backing no, of it. It's almost like a little. It's, Midnight magic. <laughs> it's very poppy. Nice. It's very poppy. That's 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 kind of what I felt. It's yeah. very happy. I really enjoy this. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed this. This is my favorite thing we've done from Tiffany. I think I'm gonna have to agree with her. And I guess what's really kind of neat about with Tiffany, her? with what you said, I'll have to agree with her. Who's oh, her? Uh, oh well, her her <laughs> as in. All of us. Oh. There is no gender when it comes to the moon. I'm the little girl I always wanted to be. I I, I was going to say, I'm going to have to agree. And we're out the window. I said, I'm going to have to agree, period, with her, comma. Okay. Okay. Um, Thanks for specifying. Yeah, yeah. So with with Tiffany, she just is, she's she's very attractive, but it's not just her looks that kind of is, is very captivating. Um, but yeah, you're talking about the, the actual kind of tone of her voice. This kind of, she has a very it's, melodic sound to her voice. It's unique in a way that like if you put it on, I'm going to know who it is immediately. Yeah, it's, very it's, charismatic. it's tonal, yeah. it's, it's, it's a recognizable tone for her. And I, and I think with this song here, especially with like the symbolism and, you know, obviously she pulls a lot of things, you know, like, you know, magnetic moon, you know, just like the moon has a gravitational force and it pulls the waves, you know, pulls She's you into pulling arms. Us. And so, so I, I like the illustration because it's, it's very easy to anyone who's listening to this can understand it. So either mm-hmm. a gravitational pull, either with like love or even just a relationship kind of thing. So yeah. I, I think, I think the overall uh, message I think is very resonates with a lot of people, and I think you can really understand it. But you're right, kind of the actual song itself, it is very poppy, but it's not obnoxiously so. I, that's 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 what I'm saying. It's, it's not, not overwhelming. Pace, it's not overwhelming. It's just kind of a soft, sensual pop song that's uh, that's romanticized, and and, and again, it, it it hints at a lot of cool things. There's a lot of symbolism, and so it it hits all those check marks in it. That's why I think I think it deserves a ten because of how well it's executed. Oh, yeah. I feel it could be very versatile, too, because despite that the backing isn't very, like, powerful and isn't mm-hmm. very overwhelming and it isn't very, like... It's it's not like a YG, like, song no, backing. No, no, it's, no, no, um, no, 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 no. <clears throat> you know, but it doesn't have to be. But even so, you could still probably put this in a club and get people dancing to well, it. Well, it, yeah. I, was, I was thinking about that. This is a really good song to build if they were mashing up songs. This one yeah. fits really well, kind of in someone if they're kind of mixing songs and 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 and, and moving along for the night. Yeah, I, th- I think I think it makes a lot of sense. And Columbus Crew DJ DJ Leak DJ Ma- Leak make it happen. That's but, be a good one. Thank and you. Yeah, that's be a good one. <laughs> something I was thinking as I was listening to it, because uh, I held off for you guys. Appreciate that for us. Yeah. Oh my God. It's the nicest thing he's ever done for us. I know. Also, not stab us. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Second nicest thing <laughs> he's ever done for us. Anyway. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, depends on the day. <laughs> the night is still young. If you uh, if you when you listen to the song and you think about it, this would lead itself really or lend itself really well to a really good visual uh, to see this live. With all the dancing. Oh and my God! Yes. With all the lights yeah. and everything. Well, like, like, like That's you what said, I'm thinking. Es- especially when it starts, you start talking about moon and moonlight, and and then like, like and the six spotlights just come and, down and, and just. Oh, dude, that's like that's, it, that's that is a druid's wet dream right yeah, there. Are you it kidding? Would look so cool live, and I know it'll look dope. Especially if she does like the swing thing too, oh, right yeah. there. And, Please do the swing. And I, I and I guess with her, she's so vibrant too. That she is kind of like her own moon, if yeah. you will. You know, she kind of uses that 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 stark contrast between like a kind of that uh, starry kind of night background, and then her mm-hmm. kind of very illuminated like a moon. So yeah. she she kind of playfully uh, illustrates the song using not just her lyrical content, but her herself as well, which I yeah. think is really neat. That's cool. I, I thought it was very very well done. Yeah. Very artistic. 
Also, awesome marketing, dropping this and then saying, oh, yeah, we also have the tour by the same name. Yeah, that's starts, how you That's how you freaking do it, man. And it starts now. <laughs> you literally, like, you can buy tickets right now. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's going to do well. Obviously, look, I mean, look at the views. Yeah, yeah look at the views. Like this, I said, is this, is this her eight. most? Uh, can you look at some of the other ones that she's done? That's got to be her most, right? No. Well, no I mean. Lips on Lips was 9.1. 9.1. I don't even remember that song. We I remember we did it. We did it. We I never just, put it out. Were we stupid? Yup. Oh. Well, you got to think in terms Teach of... Teach you is 7.4. In terms of growth, though, this is her you. strongest one, though. Yeah. Oh, so, I remember Born, Born Again. Again. I liked yeah. Born Again. And yeah. it wasn't for me. I know it wasn't for you, but I liked it. Well, anyway, so this is like her fourth or fifth. But this is probably her strongest opening yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, it's only three weeks old, so it's going to keep growing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not but, me. And especially with the tour coming up soon, this fall. It's going to get a lot of exposure. In America. A lot of people are going to. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, it'll blow up. Good for her. So, Man, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's making it happen. Right now she's in uh, Korea and uh, Asia with her tour. Oh, really? Yeah. She just played uh, Korea like last week. I wonder when we are going to sell out stadiums. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Who wants to watch us just talk? <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Corey's face the entire time, too. He's just like, oh. He's like, yikes. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> anyway. Man, well, a few words. And on that depressing note, it, we'll end it here. It, it, listen, li- li- wait, 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 wait. That's not fair. That's not fair. Okay, hold on. Now, I would love to get to that point, but we'd be have, we'd have to be on the Game Grumps level. And they just did their final live tour and the biggest Ohio venue they had was the indoor was the the theater of the Agora. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is like granted that's like four thousand people, which is awesome, but we are probably not going to be the Game Grumps in terms. of I don't want to be the Game Grumps. He wants to be him. I want to be, be the cauldron. Me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the cauldron. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying in terms of size. Um. Well, anyway. Plenty of time to get there. We all know that Danny's rocking some some uh, BDE, Big Deck Energy. <laughs> yes. Oh, how am I not surprised? Anyway. Well, I'm just having a smoothie here. Check out our links in the description. Check out our social media. It looks uh, like check me. out Corey and Bryant on Twitch. I'm not Bryant, by the way. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not Bryant. Bryant's not here. He's this, dead. This He's is dead. Chris. Well, if you, we had the, the things at the bottom, then they'll yeah. know who we are. Exactly. But that's part of the... No one reads, okay? Exactly. All right? No we one can in a read anymore. No one reads. Holy shit, if work taught me nothing else, is that people <laughs> yeah. don't read shit. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you, everyone. <laughs> Watch Bye, podcast. Everybody. Bye. Bye.